We had been one of the earlier ons in social TV. We're category definers. We started with uh, making uh, a chart to contextualize all the behavior around engagement around television. Uh, that's Trender.tv. We're about a year, year and a half out now on that. We're now starting to look at year-over-year -year data showing that, like, for example, today I, I put a slide up that announced that there was 194% growth in social activity around broadcast primetime television shows. So it's explosive and it's happening naturally by the consumer, you know, talking, jumping on Twitter, TV with everyone. It's like I can see something, I can feel something about it, and then I can share it. The other thing we do besides analytics is curation. So how can I take all the conversations taking place and find the most contextual, most valuable, and most relevant tweets? And how can I use that in my creative process, either for advertising, for on air, as part of my programming itself? We take um, social feeds from all the tele uh, from all the social networks so Twitter fire hoses public Facebook data get glue has a fire hose we just started putting Viggle data and other second screen companion app data is into our system and we're measuring these things based on engagements or activity above and beyond the impression that people are doing around TV and it's very basic it's people talking on Twitter and Facebook and mainly Twitter because it's open in real time that allows you to have a quick conversation I saw it I care about it I don't need to follow anyone I can just search someone else said the same thing I can start talking to them right um, so we take all this information in and then we process it real time not just for volume and velocity which is obviously important but what are they sharing who's most influential where are they coming from etc so that provides the charts that we make. If you've ever heard me speak, I speak a lot about how social TV informs the entire TV stack. And I would say the entire TV stack and the entire advertising stack. And each part of social data has value to each part of, like, let's take a television network. So social data can inform on air. It can inform, so I come home at night and the newscaster reads me back what I just read on Twitter all day long, but with deeper contents and some video, context and, and some video, right? Production can understand the stories they need to run or the characters that are resonating and be able to use social data that way. Research can get real-time feedback, right? They're great at doing what they've always done for the last 60 years, but now we get real-time feedback, right? And each area, marketing and ad sales, all have this feedback that's real-time that informs what they do. I would also say advertisements have that opportunity, and as advertisements become more and more interactive, social data will inform that. And I really think it's not going to be conversations around the brand, but about what the brand is bringing to the marketplace, like sponsoring a show. So it'll be about the shows, the characters, um, and the brand enabling the already existing experience. We publish a free chart for the top 10 broadcasting cable every day at trendertv.com or trender.tv or trender.com, either way. And, but, our, but our clients, and you asked who licenses our product, it's studios, it's networks, it's producers, it's brands, and it's agencies, and they all look at it in their particular optic to get what they need out of it. I think we're so early on, but I will say that social is transformative. It's not a fad. This is really friends to friends, and I break down TV and social TV in three phases, right? Personal TV, as it's always been, with your family in front of the room, but it's personally social, right? And now we've gone into the participatory or social web, and TV's gone completely social, right? And it's persistent. All the time, I can talk to someone about a show, I can watch it two days later, I can talk about it, and now we're getting into the perceptive. It knows who I am, right? My TV guide might be the shows that my friends are watching right now, not the 500 that are available. I might jump into conversations with them. It's informed. It knows me. My DVR pulls up. So I I believe that social data is the heart of smart TV. And if TVs are truly going to be smart, they need to be have a human layer of like friends and a social layer, like I'm saying, and that will bring the smart TV marketplace to have real relevance to our lives. And that's critical. I I, I consider Twitter the heartbeat of social TV. I think Facebook has a unique proposition as TV with friends. The way I put it out there is Twitter is TV with everyone, Facebook is TV with friends, YouTube's trying to be your TV, right? Apple's going to step in with the big Apple TV, and all these other companion apps are providing new, deeper values for the consumer and experiences.